Today we're going to be covering subsetting armor rod. To start, you're going to take three rods out of your nine rod set. And we're going to teach you how to phase them properly, how to hold them, and how to get it started. It's going to take a little while to get the hang of. It took me about a week when I first started. What you're going to do here is you're going to take your right hand, lay it underneath the armor rod, hold them in phase. You have to, you have to pinch it, hold it firmly, but don't have a death grip on it. You're going to take your left hand, turn it over, lay it one pitch length away from the armor rod, okay, right on the color marks, and you're going to start to roll. Now when you're starting to roll, you want to keep them in phase with one another. Again, we're holding it pretty firmly here, and you're going to start to see a tube form. There's going to be rods, your rods are going to start to separate on either side, which means you're doing everything correctly. You're about 75% there. Then you start to roll and you want to let the rods roll on themselves. And you start to twist towards the top. Once you get a feeling for that, you'll know that you're pretty much, you're pretty much there. Okay, so that's three. Now, since we have a one out armor rod set, we're going to be subsetting nine rods. We're going to be doing two sets of five and four, and then we're going to combine them both together. So now, now that you've done three, you can graduate to four, and we're going to be doing the same thing. Right hand underneath, we're going to hold these phase together, right around the color mark, one pitch length away. Take your left hand over top, and we're going to be rotating clockwise here. The tube's forming, my rods are separating, we're in good shape. Start to rotate, let them roll on themselves, and we'd start to twist towards the top. Do the same with the other side. There's your subset of four, that's our first piece. Now we have our, our five rods for our second piece, and it's gonna be the same exact thing. Right hand going underneath, left hand, we take it over top, and we start to rotate clockwise. We see the tubes forming here, now, this is very important with the five rods. You need to hold it firmly so that you can rotate that tube, make sure that the rods are all in phase with one another, and you can zip them up nice and easy. Now that you've gotten the hang of five and four, what we're going to do here is subset these two together so a lineman can take them up on the line either in the bucket or by climbing, and it's easier to install. It's very important here, we need to hold these in phase with one another so that the, the rods don't bend when you combine the two pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross them in the center at the color marks, hold them in phase with one another, and rotate. And they will mate very nicely. So you have your one piece that you can take up on the line, you're going to back this off to where the color marks are touching one another, and then you can go install this properly. That is how you subset one out armor out. Thanks for tuning in guys and be sure to be on the lookout for future tips and tricks videos. Also check us out on YouTube, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that beautiful bell, check us out on Facebook and our website preform.com.